What it do, my beautiful people? It's your boy Sensei B here with the tutorial on how to set up the Agato so that you can stream to Beam. Beam is a new streaming service for gamers that Microsoft has acquired, which they announced a couple of days ago in their Microsoft conference. And uh, that's pretty exciting because with the new big update for Windows 10 and Xbox, they're going to be actually integrating that in the Xbox and also for you to be able to stream from your PC using Windows 10. So uh, it must be something here that they like. So I want to check it out and I actually like it too. It's a pretty new service. I think they started like at the beginning of this year, maybe like February, March, possibly very, very end of 2015, but very new company, um, but seem to be growing uh, pretty fast. So I'm, I'm going to go over a few few things about being first. Then, then I get into showing you how to do um, set up the Agato. But also I want to let you know it's not just Agato. They do support OBS and XSplit 2 and some other services. So I will show you where to find that information at uh, in case you want to use those too. And it's not just for Xbox and not just for PC. It's for anybody who has a way of streaming either through hardware or through software, you should be able to still use this uh, platform uh, also. I like it so far because the lack of lag um, that it has. So first, you, you go and sign up. It's free to sign up. It doesn't cost you anything. You still earn what they call Sparks, and you earn experience from watching and streaming and interacting with the community. You earn points and Sparks. The Sparks are similar to, in my opinion, like you now. If you get coins from you now, you can use those to give the you know the streamer fifty thumbs up, or you can make you can you can use those gold coins to buy like a a beer bottle emoji to send over to the actual streamer. So it's similar to that way. So here, if you go up to my level, and I got level eight pretty fast. That's pretty much just from setting everything up. And I did stream yesterday for like maybe thirty minutes, and Bruce was there with me. And he said it sounded great and it looked great and the chat is really nice. So we'll show you that too. But as you see here, it kind of gives you an explanation of what you do. For level up, you get uh, every five minutes of watching, you're going to earn 10 experience. You get bonuses experience for completing goals and in interactive live streams. And I'll show you what that is in a little bit. And then you get, uh, you earn sparks. And each minute you watch, you earn two sparks. Spend them to interact with streams unlock new emotes and get experience boosters and more. So that's kind of similar, like I said, to, to you now. And I got that pretty fast. So first I'm gonna show you how it looks once you watch the stream. So we're gonna click on, on Minecraft. And you can see the chat is nice. And everything's nice and colorful. And you see different color names that are also based on individual like level. So if you do pay um, as a subscriber, you get different color, but if you don't, you get certain colors, you know, I just, I think it's cool. Um, down below here, this is an interactive stream right here. So down below, you see these boxes down here, and it tells you how much, you know, uh, sparks it costs. But let's say this video was me playing, and let's say I was playing Forza Horizon 3. Down here in the box, it might have, like, go off-road. The next, my, next box might say, run to a wall, the next box might say, do a flip in the car. And what, what that is that you as a watcher or a viewer can select one of those using your sparks and then on my screen, it'll flash and it'll say, you want me to go off road? And then I will go off road. It's just another way of you interacting with the uh, with the with the streamer. I think it's pretty dope. Now, I'm not sure if you yourself can customize these, but I will look into that later on. It won't be in this video because I'm still learning about Beam. That's just a general uh, concept of interactive streams, okay? Um, so I, I want to show you this part so you can see how it looks, but this is really about setting up the Agato. So let's get into that. So over here at the top right-hand corner, I'm going to click my logo, and I'm going to go to my hub. Now, my hub showed my subscribers, my viewers, and... I'm not sure the difference between followers and subscribers yet. I'm still learning also. Um, but you know, it, it gives you certain things down here. Gold follower, you know, platinum follower, you know, all kind of stuff you have here. But that's another day right there. So I did want to show you this. There's a pro version. And again, you don't have to. I think I might do this because I'm an actual streamer. But uh, again, it's free. You still earn sparks. 
you still earn experience, no problem. So I'm clicking on Pro so you can see this. Uh, for $7.99 a month, you can upgrade to Pro. Now, what that what that means is that you get these things. No ads, of course. Premium support. It's probably faster. That's the, all your questions. You earn two times more experience and multiplier. Uh, early access to new features. Per user automatically new features before the release of them to the public. Uh, premium chat highlight. You get notice the premium chat highlight. Again, that's your color-coded name. Um, it just different color based on, on that you are a premium um, person. Uh, and then support being development. So those are things you get for, for that price. So again, you don't have to do that. Um, but if you want to, it is there. So uh, now for setup string. When setup string is going to come here, you're going to come to here and tell you two types that you can do. The Either the URL for the RTMP, which is right here, or the FTL. Now the FTL is recommended for interactive streams, to what I just showed you a few minutes ago. I'm not familiarized with this yet. I'm in the process of looking into it and learning it. And once I've figured out and learned it and how to do interactive streams, then I'll probably do a tutorial on that. But for now, I'm using this one, which is the RTMP URL setup. And the difference is, it's easy set up compared to that. And the delay is only two to five seconds, which I tested yesterday. I was going to play Subnautica on my Xbox. It had a patch. So it was downloading the patch. Uh, I mean, uploading the patch. We're well, downloading the patch. And then it was counting down the percentage. And I compare where the percentage was on my Xbox versus to where it was on my on Beam, and it was between a three to five second delay. So that's not bad at all. The chat and writing, everything else is stable. And then you're gonna click on Use RTMP. Now here you can't see, but on this side right here, it's going to show you um, the RTMP URL. Okay, and then on this side here, it's going to show you the stream key. All right, so we're going to first, um, right next to the actual RTMP uh, URL, there's a box for me on my Mac that says to click on it, and then I just it just copy the clipboard automatically. If you want a PC, just copy it, okay? Now I'm going to go to Elgato. The Elgato, if you already have an Elgato, then you don't need to change anything but the live streaming. But let's just say you're new to Elgato, and you want to know how to pretty much how I have my setup. I'm gonna give you some of the basics to set that up while we here also. So this is what I always have my set to all the time. I don't change it. It's gonna be on Xbox, of course. I'm using Xbox, but you have other options, of course. Uh, I'm using the HDMI. I'm using the standard and 720, and I'm allowed 60 frames per second. I thought for me, for me, for my system, the dial is better right where I have it, okay? Um, and I have tried over more, less more, way more, and it just runs better right there for me. That can vary based on your system, okay? But I like 720, 60 frames per second. I think a lot of people get caught up so much to try, trying to show people how powerful their computers are, not keeping everybody else and and, and and idea that they can't run that stuff and it just cause problems. So I, I want everybody to be able to have be able to get be accessible to my to my work. So I always keep it at 720 60 frames per second. Plus, to me, it's a little bit faster to render the 1080. Um, so I can save you a couple of seconds <laughs> to uh, to upload and render a video and make it a little bit faster for you. So that's just me. These three boxes here, I have them all unchecked. Picture, audio, picture, that's up to you. I have it set that, that way. I like a lot of brightness. Uh, I like the color of the pop in mine. I like to saturate my, my stuff uh, quite a bit. I like it myself personally. That's what it's all about. You liking what you do personally. Um, but I did find with this setup, um, Mafia 3 was darker on Beam than it was to stream it from my Xbox to my Mac. So you may want to adjust that as you want to. Audio, same thing, as you want to. Main thing right here, we're gonna go back down to live stream, and now we're gonna click the plus sign right here. Go down to the RTMP. That's what we're gonna be putting in. Account name, we're gonna just say Beam, so we know it's Beam. Then we're gonna paste in the RTMP URL. Now let's go back to Beam, and now we're gonna copy the stream key, okay? Copy that, and now we're gonna paste the stream key into Agato. We're going to click Add, and that part is done. Um, what I would do for the bit rates, you can see down here in the bottom, 
my bid rate is 2.75. Now, I can go higher than that. I, I have really good speeds, really good speeds. I'm talking down low over 150, and I'm talking up low. I could probably get an average of 30. So good speeds, but I, I find it to be less problems if I pick the lowest speed and still maybe get the, 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 the 720, 60 frame per second. That's just me. I got a 2.5. So you can change the way you want to. That's fine too. Um, other than that, um, here I just have automatic. I don't know if I set the privacy and uh, Caligari. I have 720, 60 frames per second. That's pretty much it. And you pretty much is set to not start streaming um, to uh, to Bean. So um, and that's that's pretty much simple. But I also want to show you this down below this part. You see setup instructions. If you click that. It will give you also information on how to do OBS, XSplit, and other software. So if you click on OBS, again, it will give you the the RTMP URL and then the stream key, and it gives you a link to download OBS. That's pretty nice that it actually takes you there. And if you click on Show Recommendation, you can adjust it. Let's say you do want to do 1080, 60 frames per second. You can choose that, and then here it tells you how to set up the OBS for the bit rates and everything. You wanna go back down to 720, 60 frame, same thing. And then you wanna go 30, and then also change that too. So that's pretty dope. Uh, and it also gives you the same thing for uh, XSplit 2, same thing, and it's show recommendation. Same thing you change to, 720, whatever, 60 frame per second. And it also gives you a link to download XSplit. Okay, so that's pretty dope. And um, where'd that go here? Okay. <laughs> And other software, uh, again, recommendation is depending on what else you're using. I don't want to know what else you'll be using, but it, that option is there. So I did want to show you that. So that's pretty much the setup on how to set up Bean for live streaming. I think that this may be a big thing because one, Microsoft acquired it. They must see something they really like in it. Two, they integrated it into Xbox and uh, into uh, Windows 10. That's large, and it gives you a way to directly stream from the Xbox to there, which we really don't have any place but Twitch. Um, that's awesome. The lack of lag for us to chat, and even the gameplay is significantly down below YouTube. That's not a big thing. Uh, and it's a new growing company. It's a good opportunity to get in there and um, set yourself up and establish yourself and who knows where this may go. And you may be one of the, you know, one of the early ones that helped develop this and grow. So I definitely recommend people going there. And, um, you know, YouTube to me just doesn't care about gaming. They created YouTube gamers, but yet, if I still have to wait three to four minutes for a chat to come through, that's ridiculous, you know? And, and, um, and that just destroys the whole gameplay in my opinion. It's just a big, huge delay in the game itself. So they didn't have really put into any effort to do anything to actually help gamers there, um, like Twitch has and that. But I think this is a real competition for Twitch and a good service you might want to give it a shot and try see if you like it. You might not like it. It might not be for you. That's okay. But don't miss out on at least trying and see if it's for you because you just might like it. I'm going to be streaming here more often too, all right? So, again, this is set up for Elgato to stream to Beam. Hope you this helped you a little bit. I know it's not a great tutorial. But uh, I, I don't script anything. It just freehands everything. So uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this. Hope it helped you. Hope to see you on Beam. Don't forget to follow me on Beam at Sensitive B. And uh, like, share, subscribe, and come again and bring a friend, y'all. It's your boy, Sensitive B. I'll see you real soon, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.